Hey guys, uh, Chris from Loader Tools. Um, showing some of the issues that this little little Lyman machine has. First off, I made some nozzles for it, uh, small, medium, and large. I'm using this ball powder accurate 2520 right now to show one of the problems. You see that powder down around the bottom there. Uh, some of those balls tend to jump out. I think the machine is a little aggressive as far as dispensing powder and um, some of the things I've noticed about it is that it, it kind of um, toggles back and forth. Right now I got it set to throw 20. It seems like it threw 20. Um, but occasionally it might go up to 20.1 so maybe there's some air someplace or maybe it's on the very on the, nearly on 20.1. Uh, same thing happened with Varget. Right now I'm using my medium sized nozzle and um, it uh, does have a thread inside. It's sort of a trapezoidal thread or like sort of like an Acme thread which um, is flattened off on it more so than a regular thread. And uh, this is pretty typical. It's, um, it's working sort of ends up on maybe 0.1 high or 0.1 low. Uh, right now it's sort of set up 0.1. I did calibrate it. Also I made this nifty little replacement tray down here which you can see. And uh, if that ball powder gets on it, that's kind of bad. But it's easy, it's easy to actually just wipe off. Like that. Whereas the factory one, you have to actually take out and or have a little brush there and kind of flip the powder away. So, got the three nozzles. Got this little new, I call it plate that the tray sits on. I mean, it's a cute little machine. It just depends on what you want to do. I've had reports that. My nozzles for the Hornady um, Auto Charge and the RCBS 1500 make the machines actually seem like a different machine. They really make them work fantastic. The problem with this one is, is that it actually trickles a little too fast. They should be taking at the very final trickles. They should slow down and just take measurements, trickle, take measurements, trickle, let the scale stabilize and just seems like they're just predicting when it should stop and stopping on the prediction. That's why it sometimes drops 19.9. It's pretty snappy. I don't know if anybody would buy this to throw light and then use a manual trickler to trickle it in. Ultra precise guys maybe ultra precision long range shooters anyway I do have these nozzles I can I can make them I can make this base plate down here too if you're like me and you don't like the one it came with um, in order to calibrate oh another reason I made this plate is to get the tray up a little higher and hopefully try to combat this this um, bouncing ball thing and also to um, lessen the fall as, as these grains take time to fall through the air, it's a little bit of time in it for the scale to work. And uh, I don't know, didn't make it, it didn't improve as much as I'd like. So, in order to calibrate, we can go to grams, zero it. In order to calibrate, I just take the plate out and I set this right on there and as you can see I got 50 grams in there 50 grams is what it measures so it does not need calibration I think the machine kind of learns as it goes how much to drop but it just seems so much easier just to get close slow down slow to a trickle and then slow to trickle measure trickle measure i don't know why they don't do that 
it's just software. It's only software. Sim simply a matter of programming SMOP. Anyway, I'll do one more charge and I'll be into this video. Uh, I'll have links down below. You can just ask me on Facebook for, for where to get these. You can ask me on my Loader Tools store on eBay. If you search for Loader Tools, that's all one word, Loader Tools. On Amazon, you find me there. Uh, I'm on the web. I'll do this last one and then we'll be done. Watch that last trickle. I mean, it trickles and it beeps. Don't think it has time to measure. But it ended up 20.0 on that one. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the web. Guys, if you take this machine apart like they show in the instructions where you push this button down and take this off, make absolutely sure that you put it back in until it snaps. Because otherwise you'll tip this up in your... Um, powder container here will fall off and everything will go everywhere. Okay, thanks for watching.